you love Jesus, Apostolic Sunday School. Com. Com. Hello everyone, uh, this is Bob Lee here from Inland Lighthouse Church and welcome to Apostolic Sunday School with another object lesson for you. Today, this is actually going to be more or less uh, part two of the story of, of, of Lot and, and Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, obviously, I'll, I'll start off just as you all know, uh, Abraham in part one, we, we can start there and, and you can use this wherever you would like. But basically, Abraham bargained with God. Uh, he knew his nephew was down in, in, in Sodom and uh, he didn't want the place destroyed, you know. And he said, God, you know, are you going to destroy that whole town? That's not like you, God. He goes, what if there's 50 righteous people there? And so he goes through that 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, down to 10. And, and Abraham, he finally kind of gave up and said, okay, there's got to be at least 10 people. I got Lot, his wife, his daughter, son-in-law. I'm sure that they're, they're going to be okay. So you know the story. So now uh, you know what happens. The angel of the Lord's go down and, uh, and it's not looking very good. And so basically the angel, we're at the point now, and I have uh, Lot here. And, and his wife and uh, his daughters are they're, they're, they're packing their, their suitcase, you know how the girls are. So anyway, uh, so they're not here right now. You may want to get that in your lesson. So anyway, uh, so they're there and the, and the angels say, okay, it's time to go. We're going to rain down fire and brimstone. This, this city is going to be destroyed, okay? And again, in part one, um, I have uh, uh, some things we could, you could do with that. But anyway, this, if you're just going to do this part of the lesson, it's great. So anyway, the angel, uh, they're taking them out of town. So they're heading out, and there was just one thing they said, don't do. Don't look back, okay? And that's just like us, you know? We come, in, we come into church. We uh, repent of our sins and say, God, I don't want to do those bad things anymore. God, forgive me. And you know what? God fills us with the Holy Ghost. We get baptized in Jesus' name and things are going great. But sometimes we start to, maybe an old friend calls and, and you know what? We're back before you know it. Sometimes doing the same old things. We look back. Well, you know, God doesn't want us to look back. So we told them specifically, don't look back. So as Lot and, and, and his wife were heading out of town with their daughters. Now they've gone on ahead, so they're, they're not here right now. So as they go, guess what? So Lot's heading out, and then um, his wife, she turned back. There was something about Sodom that just appealed to her. She just, was, she just didn't quite want to leave it all behind. So I want to demonstrate what happened when she looked back. She was turned into a pillar of salt. And I'm not sure what, exactly what Lot was thinking, and he obviously he didn't want to turn back to see his wife, but there she is, and she turned into a pillar of salt. So, brothers and sisters, we know when, when we've, it's hard, that temptation is hard, but when, when uh, um, look at that. So, uh, once we've repented of our sins, and uh, been baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, there's some things we just gotta just let go forever. We just can't go back to those things. Repent means turn around, and we don't want to do that. We want to obey God and, uh, and live for God and not turn back. Okay, so what I have here is I just have a couple little plastic figurines uh, to represent Lot, and I, 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 I couldn't find my uh, his, the daughters uh, and Lot's wife, okay? But the solution what I had here, and what actually what I had here was a container uh, of sodium acetate, okay? And all you do for this, again, you can get this at Amazon.com uh, for, you can get like five pounds for, everything's like 10 bucks. Uh, and it, it's great. And the nice thing about this is reusable. Um, but you need to be real, you need to be careful with this. Not, not so much that it's, it's, it's dangerous, so you don't want to eat it or anything, but uh, it, it can go back to a solid like this one did. I had this in, in solution. But the nice thing about this is, is it comes in a solid like crystal, it looks like salt, and you can just put a little bit of water in it and gently, slowly in a microwave, uh, uh, it, you, you'll heat it up and it'll melt it down and then it's good. You cover it and what had happened is a crystal probably fell from, from my hand or something. But uh, what this does is basically, um, it's, it's called a super saturated solution. It's totally completely dissolved but it's really, really concentrated. 
And what I had on here, which you couldn't see, was a couple small little crystals of, of this salt on, on the head of, of Lot's wife here. And as soon as the liquid touched the uh, crystals, it started forming these crystals. Okay, again, it's sodium acetate. Um, it's basically, when you, if you get this, you notice a slight vinegary smell. It basically comes from, from vinegar, uh, which is acetic acid. So sodium acetate, it's the salt of acetic acid. And uh, that's all it is. And again, this is reusable. I could take this, throw it in a microwave, and uh, just gently, I do it like 20, 30 seconds, and uh, kind of get it warm, stir it up until all the crystals are gone. And then if you keep this in a nice container, it'll just stay indefinite. And actually what I do is I take the, uh, uh, the salt right here, and you can actually break it off. And it's warm. Believe it or not, this is the same stuff that's in hand warmers. Okay, So it's, it's uh, safe to use. You can take this off and then just melt it down, back down, and throw it in a microwave, and you can reuse it over and over again. Just kind of keep it clean. Okay? All right. Hope you like that. It's Again, it's a, it's a really cool uh, lesson. I was going to pour and make this a lot bigger, but I happened to have one, have one ready, handy. And uh, you can make like a nice big pillar of salt, and it's really cool. And again, it's reusable. If you have any questions, uh, let us know at Apostolic Sunday School. If you have any other applications for this type of uh, thing or other lessons you can do, please let us know. Love to make our Sunday schools as best as they can be. In Jesus' name. How do you? Uh, how long will it stay in liquid form if it's covered? Indefinitely. It, yeah, I had that one sitting out there for uh, since probably Harvest Fest. And this one has been in there since back. I had this ready for Harvest Fest, but I and, didn't use it. And, and it, it, you didn't have it covered, or it was I covered? I did have this one covered. <clears throat> but I think when I took it off, because uh, I poured it to make sure, I go, I think this is what it is. And, and it crystallized, and so it was, I knew it was, it was, I wasn't sure if that's what so it was. So what triggers it when it hits? As soon as it hits a crystal. Any, a crystal of that stuff? Or? Yeah, basically. Uh, could have been something else. But what I think happened is maybe when I dumped it to try it out there, or when I took it off, uh, when I peeled the rubber band off, I think one probably was stuck and it probably fell into it. So you said put some crystals on the head of the little yeah, on the deal? Head. It, just some of the unliquefied crystals? Yeah, so like what I do is I, you know, I usually have some of this around and I just had a few little crystals up here on it. Got it. And actually, I want, what, what, before we were gone, I maybe mean, I can come back, I'll, I'll just, I mean, I don't know how much you can see there, but I'll just throw that in the microwave real quick and just let you see it. Yeah. Okay, and here it is. If you can see this, uh, so the, the crystals are, are, are uh, um, starting to really dissolve. It was real solid. I'm just gonna. It's now it's like a real thick uh, slush, kind of like a slurpy kind of a texture. So I'm just gonna stir it up a little bit. Okay, so it's still kind of slushy. Okay, and, but it's not too hot. So I'm just I'm just kind of trying to be real careful with uh, with um, with dissolving it. I want to go put it back in the microwave for a little bit more. So here it is now. I did that for about 40 seconds. It's uh, it's pretty warm, okay? But if you notice, there's some crystals on the side. So what I do is, it, but it's pretty well dissolved, okay? So I just take it and just kind of, what you want to do is once it's really, really completely liquefied again, okay, is you probably want to transfer this. I got a little plastic beaker. I got these beakers. Um, I'm pretty sure I got them from Amazon, uh, a set of beakers uh, for a few dollars. And uh, the, 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 the hardest thing in working with this is, uh, is keeping the crystals like from a container from falling into the solution uh, uh, back in to start the reaction too quickly. Because this is, this is pretty warm, it's not too warm. Um, but obviously I'm holding it, it's not too hot. Um, but it's completely, completely liquefied again. But what you want to do is pour it into a pure, clean uh, container. What happens is, where I run into problems sometimes, is the fact that uh, crystals will, or solution will sit along the walls and then it'll evaporate and it'll start to crystallize there. And as soon as the liquid touches it, it will start to uh, recrystallize again. So the best thing is, is have a second container and try not to get it on, on a container like these. And I got these at the dollar store, as little cheap little um, um, uh, containers. And uh, just that amount, so obviously I got quite a bit more in here. I could fill up probably 10 of these almost. And, uh, but the key thing is to keep the uh, solution from uh, not getting up around the threads of the container uh, so that it won't pre, um, 
uh, solidify. And that, that's, that's the biggest problem working with this. But if you have, so it's finding the right uh, containers. Um, but this, now you just let this cool. This should be able to sit there. And uh, it wouldn't probably work right now. Um, but you could, but once it's cooled down, because it's still pretty warm. But then it's just a matter of making sure you got crystals on the whatever it is. It may not because it's so, uh, it's still too hot. It's not going to work right now. But once this cools down, it becomes what's called a super saturated uh, solution. Okay. So it's kind of like in cooking. Maybe if, if those of you who cook with like concentrated sugar, making like, uh, 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 what's it, like almond roca or something like that. Same type of thing with sugar. You get it really, really hot and it's like a liquid almost. But then as it cools down, it solidifies into like a nice crystal.